computer-mediated instruction is sometimes used to enhance regular classrooms. Sometimes it replaces classrooms with virtual learning environments that incorporate a variety of computer-based communication tools. Computer-mediated communication, though, is more than a set of tools. It is at once technology, medium, and engine of social relations. It not only structures social relations, it is the space within which the relations occur and the tool that individuals use to enter that space. Communication, of course, is information exchange. The information can be knowledge-based and factual in nature, or it may be socially oriented. Computer-mediated communication is any online exchange of information by two or more people in different places on different computers. Social software like instant messaging and email creates information-oriented social spaces on the Internet. With present technologies, most exchanges are written. Writers and readers at different computers use text to converse, but increasingly, CMC includes other media, video conferencing, and Internet telephone tools. The simplest way to discern between the two types of computer-mediated instruction is to understand that synchronous CMI occurs live and in the present, also known as real-time. If captured and digitally recorded, most synchronous instruction can be replayed and applied in an asynchronous instructional environment. Asynchronous CMI is most utilized for course participants in educational settings that support anytime, anywhere learning. Time-sensitive project tasks are regularly accomplished without students having to meet face-to-face -face or sit for a live lecture. Course materials are available on demand. Synchronous CMI is most utilized for course participants in educational settings that support anywhere learning but on a specific timetable. Students are able to regularly meet in live discussion forums, although the medium often varies. Different tools exist for both categories of CMI. However, nearly all of the electronic devices and software applications that support computer-based instruction have the capability to perform both synchronous and asynchronous features. Hybrid forms of CMI are widely distributed within the educational arena of today's students and instructional facilitators. There are several thoughts on the social implications of computer-mediated communication. For example, the social presence theory contends that CMC is incomplete compared to face-to-face -face communication and social contacts, lacking specific things such as facial expressions, posture, dress, social status indicators, and vocal cues. Despite the claim that true emotional expression is not possible in CMC, computer networks used for social purposes have become more active than non-social networks. The Internet offers participants in computer-mediated instruction situations, many resources to support their efforts. Online encyclopedias offer everything found in the print versions, but include animations, graphics, and the information can change daily instead of yearly. Check out the popular and free Wikipedia site for information, or take time to submit your own Wikipedia entry on your favorite topic. This site is entirely created by edited users, members, for a 
more traditional Encyclopedia, Experience Checkout World Book, or Encyclopedia Britannica online. They're oldies, but they're goodies. Digital library collections can include full text, excerpts, digital scans, maps, photos, and even newspapers and magazines. Most digital collections also include video and audio materials. These libraries may give users valuable access to materials that are not widely circulated because they are rare or delicate. Being able to locate journal resources is vital for students and professionals participating in computer-mediated communication. In Georgia, we are lucky to have Galileo, an online database that gives access to peer-reviewed journals for any topic under the sun. The University of Georgia Libraries and Georgia Interconnected Libraries also offer valuable resources online. You can also find many journals by accessing search engines such as Google Scholar and Ask Jeeves. However, in those situations, you will probably find some resources that require a subscription for access. OK, now I have all these resources, but how do I begin a search? And how do I know where to look? Research tools help guide the user in successful searches using online resources. These tools offer search instructions, tutorials, even access to online help through email and chat rooms. Use these tools to create a bibliography and to find out how to narrow or expand your search terms so you come up with the right information. CMC as an instructional tool. Mastery of course material in the virtual classroom is equal to or superior to the traditional classroom. Virtual classroom students report higher subjective satisfaction than with the traditional classroom on a number of dimensions, including access to the professors and overall quality of the educational experience. S students perceive their learning experience to be group learning rather than individual learning, and that the more they judge the experience to be collaborative, the more likely they are to be judges of the outcomes as superior to the traditional classroom. 